It's uh, typical playoff hockey. You know, every uh, every inch of ice it seems like is uh, is a battle out there, and um, you know both teams are struggling a little bit offensively. But uh, that being said, too, there's there's reasons for it. Uh, goaltenders are playing well, making big saves, things like that. Uh, uh, Robin, last night Daryl referred to the kind of battles that you guys are waging as as kind of things that only you guys would understand. Does that? kind of resonate with you? Do, you? do you understand what he's talking about when he's talking to us about that kind of, you know, playoff jousting in the corners? And the, I assume that's what he was talking about. Well, there's, there's all kinds of little things that happen within within the game. Uh, some people call it the game within the game or, uh, you know, call it whatever whatever you want. But uh, it's it's a series. It's a tough series. It's been a hard fought, uh, low, low scoring, tight series. And um, you know, there's there's all kinds of stuff that that's happening out there, and you, uh, as an individual, want to win as many of those little uh, little battles, and and uh, as a team, you do too, and hopefully that puts yourself in a, in the best chance to win. Is it fun for you to play because that's the kind of game you you do play? I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. It's playoff hockey is the most fun hockey to play. Their forecheck has been so strong that Daryl then implemented the seventh defenseman. How did that help you guys in Game Three? Yeah, it was uh, it was I think a nice change. I think it worked out really well. Uh, I think uh, uh, Marty stepped in and, and played uh, played really well, not having played in uh, in I think about a month uh, here, and uh, he was a part of uh, the, the game winning goal, the only goal. So that was uh, that was huge for for him. Uh, for us as defensemen, we really got to make sure we're paying attention on the bench with uh, with seven defensemen because you're not always going out there with the same partners. Being an odd number, um, he's rotating through different uh, different players, so you got to make sure that you're aware of who's up next and uh, and who you're called for. Robin, in, in your experience in playing for Daryl Sutter, I don't know if this is as applicable right now because the series is three games deep. But what does Daryl do well to keep guys refreshed, uh, give them new challenges throughout a playoff series, uh, in what often is hoped to be a, a long playoff run? Well, I don't think Daryl changes at all with uh, the regular season or, or playoffs. And two of the biggest things uh, I think that uh, that you know you'd say to describe him are first of all uh, he's demanding, and uh, he also is not afraid to challenge both uh, individuals and teams, and he he does a good job of that. And uh, I think that's one of his strengths, and he's able to to push push the right buttons. So. Uh, that's you know that's his job. That's uh, what he does. He he always uh, does what he feels is best for the for the team. And uh, probably the most important thing with him is preparation. You got to make sure that uh, as players that uh, we're prepared as best best we possibly can be before we we go out there and play. Maybe this is a crazy question, but when you have such an acute focus on one particular opponent, is there any? Do, 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 does it focus, or does, is there any like, rise, or fall, or is it is it a challenge to keep it so squarely on one opponent for what could be a two-week series? No, it's it's not a challenge. It's uh, enjoyable. That's why uh, that's why we play all all season long, play the regular season to to get into the playoffs and uh, get into this type of hockey and and uh, play these type of teams. You know, these teams all are the teams that uh, battled hard throughout the regular season and. and uh, and made it here. So if there's there's not going to be a, a real easy time. It's going to be a challenge all the time. And as uh, as individuals, we uh, we enjoy that. That's this is the best part of the part of the year.